What is up guys, today I am going to show you all my helmets, so like, which ones I use most and where I put them. I actually put them on this part of my bed, so like, this bit. Um, I will show you a little clip of that at the end of the video, so, um, go back to my main channel and watch what is inside a bounty ball, because I was quite intrigued. So, sorry about that, that's my dad, just... Um, guys, you realise I am just filming in my room right now, like, so, if you want me to do more, I might even upload, like, 360 videos, because it's, I got this epic app where I could do that, so, yeah, me and Lilo, we skated, we skateboarded to school today, it was awesome, um, yeah, I used my longboard, because, why not, this is where I originally put it, but then, um, I over put something in it, so I put my like race car in it. I'll, I definitely will do a video for that in the future. So, future only. Remind yourself. Yesterday, guys, I actually did put my scooter wheels on, and it took ages. So, that... yeah. Um, let's get on with the video. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Now I'm actually going to show you the helmet I use most, um, and the stickers I've got on it, and like how much I use it so Lego do you know what I'm going so this is the helmet I use most um, I use it a rev and like if I'm ever just going to a skate park so I've got this revolution sticker this van scooter stick scooter now I was just talking about scooter okay um this GoPro mount because why not um, these sti these revolution stickers which come in like a 15 pack which I thought was really good for like two quid I was like why not mate um there's uh, two other revolution stickers you can see yeah a no chavs which is pretty dope a shout out to skate pharmacy Margate give me a quick little shout out uh yeah skate pharmacy I got these with my mate so I thought <laughs> why not yeah um a monster sticker I'm boss. Yeah, it's pretty much the helmet. It's, it looks pretty dope. Like, look. like if I showed you my helmet, would you like be like, oh shizzle? Yeah. Would you think that's pretty? I think that's a pretty dope helmet, honestly. Like, guys, look, comment below if you think my helmet is awesome. Like, if you think it's like friggin' bang. Cause look, if I came up to you and said, look at my helmet, what would you say? You'd be like, oh my god. Yes. So yeah. Um. It's actually just a bell one. If you ever want to know what type of brand it is, it's got very good padding in it. I didn't want it. There was an option to put extra padding in it, but <laughs> I live on the edge, so I don't want to. I actually put my knee pads in it. Because when. Oh, that's nasty. When I go to Rev, I have to wear my knee pads. Because if not, I may actually break my knees. Because I've got very weak knees. Because I once fell off and I landed on my knees and I popped my kneecap up and then I had to push it down and it really hurt. So yeah, so now that's why I have to wear. If you ever see me in a video and I wear knee pads, that's why. That is the story behind my knee pads. Um, yeah, these are just some Pro Gear ones. <laughs> Shout out to Pro Gear, they're the best. I love that. I love that elbow pads because I fell over on my elbow once and I broke my arm three times. Um, they do good hand guards, mostly for skateboarders, scooters. They don't really do anything but the knee pads are good for scooters like my friend jay i'm um, i don't think he's got any like social media so i won't give him a shout out but here's a here's awesome scooter rider he can do like amazing things so he uses like pro gear and like apex shout out to apex they're the best scooter riders ever um he uses quite a lot but i don't know i feel like I should use the pro gear. I think I feel more comfortable in pro gear, so it kind of really helps. But whatever feel comfortable for you guys. Yeah, look, shout out to Spitfire for getting me this awesome t-shirt when I was at Skate Pharmacy. Woohoo! If you want to see me like have a little chat about that video, go into the What's Inside one, and I'll have a little chat about it. So let's go. Hi guys. Now I'm actually going to show you. A scooter I mostly use for when I go road cycling because I do quite a lot of that. Um, I'm actually doing a sponsored bike ride for um, the Alzheimer's thing. 
and I brought my sponge form in today and I made about £5.80 so I mean look get in money um, and tomorrow I'm definitely going to bring some stuff in so if any of you guys and then my friends want to sponsor me you'll know where I'm at um, so this is my bell helmet I use this when I go mountain biking when I go road cycling when I do like normal cycling um it's possibly a really good helmet because it's really good to like manipulate and you can use it to like move like if you've got like a hat on while you're riding and like your normal beanie or something and you want to like just kind of wear it underneath you can just use this helmet um it's very hard it's a bell one by the way if you well, no, I use most of my helmets are bell, but some of them aren't. I got this. I got both my helmets. So I got this one from Halfords and this one from Halfords. But oh, nice. <laughs> My father's Ignore that beard. Come on, Bob. Stay still. <laughs> Okay, so stay. Um, it's quite good because when you're soaking, you get quite sweaty. It's got a white padding. Look, I mean, I could if I wanted to, I could put more padding in it, but it's just another thing I have to do. And like, honestly, it doesn't need any more padding. Like, look, it's quite. It feels quite comfortable in your head. Um, it's quite like well, obviously. Obviously, I've got it loose because I wear hats when I go cycling because it's pretty freezing now in February in England. It's bloody mad. Um, yeah, it's quite good in the summer as well because if you want to, you can take out some of the padding, but it'll still be good. And look, when I wear my other helmet, hold on, <laughs> suck the angle. You're just not wanting to come down anymore. Come on. Sorry. So look, it's not got a lot of air pockets, so yeah. Look, it hasn't got any air pockets at the back or at the front or like I'd only really use this at the skate park or if I'm going like to a skate park in England somewhere. So comment below guys any places you want me to ride and I'll do a video on them. So hold up and put just let's put that bit. Um yeah, if any of you guys are interested in road cycling and you want like a quite a good steady helmet for you, I'll definitely recommend this one. Um, it was about five, uh, nearly a tenner, I think. Um, it's brilliant for mountain biking because if you hit your head on a tree or something, by accident, it's okay because it's got like padding all around it. It kind of protects this part of your head, so I won't be too worried, but. <laughs> um, as you can see, I've got a little bit muddy. I have actually cleaned it a few times because me and my dad went um, cycling after the snow melt. Well, after like the ice melted, and oh my god, there were puddles, possibly deeper than my leg. I mean, there were some intense puddles, and I like, I got stuck in one, and my dad had to come help me out. It was well funny. Um, yeah, and if you're quite yeah, if, as I was saying, if you're if you're, if you're quite keen road cyclist and you want to like if you're just wearing like normal hats like that one um i would definitely recommend you to get this one because it looks more like sophisticated and a bit like better and it's good for your it actually feels really comfortable in your head like amazing but with this one with all the stickers and gopro mounts it was about 20 quid so i mean i've probably spent quite a lot of money on the stickers but um yeah, my knee pads were about, I think about £17 or a tenner, but it did come with knee pads, hand pads, knee pads, elbow, yeah, elbow pads. So, yeah, bye guys. Hi guys, so let's show you my last helmet. Um, it's this mohawk one, it's pretty dope. I mean, look, if you saw me wearing this, you'd think, are you an idiot? But no. I mean, this, the mohawk is actually rubber, um, as you can tell. I've got Revolution stickers all over it. Like that. Shout out to Revolution. This is the one where I'm at where when I mostly go skateboarding. Because it's hard as hell. I mean like my this one. 
this one it's pretty hard as well i mean like it's intense both my helmets are it's not gonna no i didn't think so didn't think you're gonna stay no wait hold on oh my god stop just there we go finally um i got this from matland i know it sounds a weird place to get it but it was over the christmas period and it was about 20 quid i would say um it it kind of the problem with this one it's it hasn't got a lot of like you can't really manipulate it a lot but with my other two you can like you can move the things around and all that so basically all i do is just, just roll this down like this little back thing and just pull and then i'm, I'm mm -hmm. um and then it's got quite it's quite spacious when it's on your head i mean it doesn't really it's not quite restricted but if you do fall you're pretty protected i mean like the padding inside as you can see is some intense paddage and it even came with more padding i was like you dare i ain't wearing it um it feels very comfortable around your neck on my other two they feel very comfortable on my neck like i've never feel like i've got like a rash under here like these two the the other two i've got never feel uncomfortable at all um pretty much i just if you're like a starter right, learner on a skateboard scooter bmx all them sports i would definitely recommend you to get this helmet it was about a tenner um look at my little finger look at my little finger it's quite good because on oh, what size is it it's a medium because i got big out there oh my god i've got to tell you a story me my mum and my brother went to the Natural History Museum in London and pretty much if any of you guys don't know what the Natural History Museum is, it's a place in London where it's got co loads of cool like facts and hold on, like loads of artifacts and all that, hold up, you have to do um, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it's pretty dope but but yeah, I was like going up to get this hat thing done when I was like three, so it was okay. No, I was actually like nine. And this woman, the woman who was doing it said to me, Cool, you've got a big head. I was like, You were there. <clears throat> and anyway, she was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. You offended me, girl. So I, came, I went back to my mum crying. And my mum was like, where's this woman? I was like, dear. And my mum literally pushed three kids over and said, you call my kid, you've got a big head. And she, the woman went, but he has. And my mum went, firstly, it's a girl, you bet. I was like, say what? Okay, awkward. And yeah, and then my mum and the woman had a little fight and then, we basically had to get out of that, or we had like, or we'd have got like kicked out of the National Institute Museum. But no one would like that. I mean, it sounded pretty bad, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. Pew. Um, I got American money. Well, I went to America a few years ago, so yeah, I don't know. I see. So, yeah, just recommend you to get some, it's quite nice. And it looks pretty dark. Let me just show you a 360. Yeah, guys, um, as I was saying, I will be doing more 360 videos. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, so, hold on. This is where I'm actually putting them. Let me show you guys. So, hold on. Um, guys, you're gonna have to have a sexy angle for a second just because I need to put something up here. So, this is where I put them. It's not too shabby, honestly. Um, hold on, guys, another manipulation nudge. Like this, like this video if I like saying manipulation. It's quite a nice, it's quite a nice texture 
of your mouth. Manipulation. Manipulation. See, I put them up here. Hang on. Pretty much all of it. So, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fancy stuff, and I will see you next video. Say bye, Hulk. Bye. Bye, guys.